Marjan here. Uh, so today I want to transfer some of my propagation that I have been doing in moss to uh, Leka. I find that transferring from uh, moss is very easy uh, to Leka because I feel like the what uh, the roots that are forming in moss is uh, very close to water roots. So I see that this cutting doesn't have much root yet, so I'm going to leave it be. I'm going to check this one and see how it's doing. Okay, it seems that the roots are kind of like connected to the moss, so I'm going to use some water. I'm going to soak it in water and then trying to separate them would be easier. Okay, so it does have some small roots forming and I feel like that is the best time to transfer and the transfer um, is so much easier when the roots are smaller in each medium like even if you're transferring from water to soil i find it it's so much uh, easier and more adjustable uh, and the rate of success goes higher when the roots are smaller so i'm going to go with this one i'm going to close my propagation box for now and leave it aside this is a hoya uh, verticillata uh, reverse variegation uh, so I'm going to, some people also call it Hoya Acuta reverse variegation, but it, it goes with both names. So for transferring, I do have my cachet pot, I do have a small net pot, it's a two and a half inch. So I'm going to fill the bottom with the bigger Leica balls so they don't go fall through. And then maybe kind of like arranging them to the smaller and then I'm going to place my rooting it seems it's small so I could fill fill up more of these I have soaked my leka for a few days that's I either usually boil them or I leave them in water if I'm not in rush to use it for a few days okay the leaves are a little bit in a bad place and this seems it might just be coming to the side because of the formation of the leaves that's okay that I could work with that I'm going to add the leka balls around it I feel like I'm going to add the smaller find the smaller ones and put around the roots okay I'm going to try again because I feel like could have gone a little bit more this leaf is not rotting because it's touching I would usually cut that leaf but because this cutting only has two leaves I don't want to stress it too much when it's still a baby so I'm just going to maybe try to put the lecas around it and try not to uh, feel around the leaf so it's not touching uh, anything okay uh oh Maybe I need to use this one. Let's see. Would this one work better? It did come out a little bit, but I'm going to try to add a few small leka balls around the stem and the roots. Okay, I think this is the best we could do. 
I'm going to use this cache pot instead since that one fits better and I'm going to fill it with water and also mix a little bit of root powder with my water and so the roots are going to get stronger so this is my root powder I'm going to add a little bit root powder inside can use a spoon, it might be easier. Okay, I um, filled up a little of this with the root powder and I'm going to put this inside and see how it goes. Okay, I think it needs a little bit more water, but I also don't want to add too much water so the leaves shouldn't touch the water. Yeah, so I'll leave it at that. I think it would be good. I'm going to also put this under grow light for a few days. And see, and keep an eye on, on it because um, at this stage you need to check and see if it's adjusting well to the LECA. Sometimes they might not, so you need to, again, if it's the, uh, getting root rot, you need to uh, check it and, again, maybe choose another way of propagation. Yeah, it's, it's not very stable in here because of the leaf formation, but I mean, that's okay. I'll try to keep an eye on this baby. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and have a good day. Bye.